Hello and welcome to week 15 of the Country Garden Crochet Along. And this week we're going to be making the leaf puff stitch and we're going to be using the filet grid we made last week to create these beautiful stitches. So how do we make it? I've chosen a different shade to what we used for what we used before. Okay. So I'm going to join into this first stitch here. So I'm not going to join into either of the corner stitches. I'm joining into the double crochet after. I could have changed over on a slip stitch, but it, I found actually this makes it a little bit easier just for this round. And I'm going to start with a double crochet turning chain. Okay, so you can start with a standing double crochet if you prefer. But I'm going to do the turning chain. Okay. So I'm now going to double crochet in the next three stitches. So your turning chain counts as the first stitch. Two, three, and I should say this is the uh, long side so I'm above the tulip panel. Okay, so including your turning chain you have four double crochet. You're now going to make a double crochet into the first chain one space. Just press all the so you've got your double crochet in the chain space. You're now going, oops, you're now going to chain three. You need to make sure these chains are loose. Move up to that bigger hook size if you chain tight. Okay. So now we're going to be working in each of these chain spaces, but not across. We're going to work in the first chain space in round three. Then we'll work in the chain space, the last, the first one in round two, and then the one in round one. Okay, so we're not going to be working in all the chain spaces, just these three. Okay, so after you go chain three, you're going to yarn over into the same chain space that you double crocheted into you're going to pull up a loop and you're pulling it up to the same height as your double crochet yarn over, back into the same space pull up a loop yarn over for a third time back into the same chain space and pull up a loop so you should have seven loops on your hook but we're not pulling through them all yet we're moving on to the next chain space so yarn over go down to the chain space in round two Yarn over, pull up a loop, and you're pulling it up high. So this is going to be two double crochets high. Okay. So you've got a really long loop there. Yarn over into the same chain space, pull up a loop, and again for a third time into the same chain space, pull up a loop. Then yarn over, and we're going to move on to the chain space in round one. Okay. So you yarn over into that chain space, pull up a loop, and it's going to be high. It's three double crochets high now. Yarn over into the same chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over back into the same chain space, and pull up a loop. Moving on, we're now going to the last chain space in row two for this repeat. Round two, there you go. So, yarn over into the chain space, pull up a loop, so two double crochets high. Yarn over, back into the same chain space, pull up a loop. Yarn over, back into the same chain space, pull up a loop. And now we're going into the last chain space of the repeat for the last round we did, so round three. Yarn over, pull up a loop, one double crochet high. Yarn over, back into the same chain space, pull up a loop. And for the third time, yarn over, pull up a loop. You've got a lot of loops on your hook. i just draw one. There we go. And we've got to pull through all of these. Take your time. Yarn over, pull through all those loops. Got a bit stuck there, pull through, pull through, I'm getting there, 
and finally chain one to secure it. And there is your sycamore leaf. Okay. It can feel quite daunting doing these with all those loops on your hook, but if you take your time, that beautiful stitch is well worth the effort. Okay. Right, so we just chained one, and now we're going to make another two chains. One and two. And then we're going to double crochet in the same chain space that we finished the puff in. So this last puff that we did, set of puffs, we're going to double crochet in that same stitch. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch, which is this double crochet here. and then double crochet in the next chain space. Okay, so we're going to have three double crochet between each um, leaf puff. And then we start again. So we're going to make another leaf. So yarn over into the same chain space that you made that double crochet, insert your hook, pull up a loop, Insert your hook, pull up a loop. Okay, so after your first puff, you should have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over. We go to the next chain space along and down to row two, round two. Okay, so it's the first chain space in this repeat in round two that we're working into. Okay, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Okay, make sure it's two double crochets high. Okay. Yarn over, back into the same chain space, yarn over, pull the loop, and same again for a third time. Then yarn over, go down to the chain space in round one. Yarn over, pull the loop, nice and high. Yarn over, pull the loop. Three double crochets high this one, and again for a third time. And move over to the chain space in round two, the last one, and we repeat again. So your loops, oops, sorry, my dog is starting to play. Mishka, calm down. Okay, so then for the last one, we move over to the next chain space in round three. Yarn over, pull up a loop. So it's a double crochet high. And then yarn over and slowly pull through all the loops on your hook. So if you snag something, which I've snagged something here, just gently work away. Okay. And then chain one. And then make another two chains. Make sure those chains are loose. Okay, so we don't start rippling. And after the chain three, make a double crochet in that same chain space. Okay, so after the double crochet in the same chain space as that last puff, you'll make another double crochet into the top of that double crochet post and then a third one into the next chain space. And that's when you begin your next leaf puff. Okay, so I'm gonna carry on with that across the end of the row, and I shall show you what we do when we get to the corners. Puff stitch, and you should, on the long side, you'll have eight of those. And after making it, I've done my chain two, you know, that you do the chain ones to finish to close your puff, then chain two, and then I made a double crochet in the last chain space. So after this, you're going to make a double crochet 
in each stitch until you get to the corner. Okay, let's get there. Where's my corner? Go for that. So this stitch is a proper yarn eater. You're going to get through an awful lot of yarn for this. But the biggest advice I can give is just take the time uh, bringing your hook through all those uh, loops. A bit of patience. <laughs> but it's a very pretty stitch. Okay, so that's seven double crochet, and then number eight brings me to the first double crochet of the corner. And then in that second corner stitch, we make two double crochet. One and two. And then that's the first side complete. Okay, so you should have eight of those lovely leaf puffs. And then we turn and start the next side, which for me is the short side. Okay. So after the corner stitch, I'm going to make a double crochet in each stitch until I get to the chain one space. So that's one, two, three, and four. And then I'm going to make another double crochet into the first chain one space. Okay, so made the double crochet in the next chain space, and then you're going to chain three. Remember to keep your chains nice and loose. So then working it into the next chain space, yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop. And you're pulling up your loop to the height of one double crochet. Okay, and you do that three times. Yarn over, move to the next chain space, but not working in the one in round three, you're working into the one in round two. Yarn over and pull up a loop three times and those loops are being pulled up to the height of two double crochet. Okay, so everything to be the same height at the top. Then yarn over, yarn over, move to the next chain space, but go down to the last one in round one. And this time you're pulling up loops to the height of three double crochet. Two and three. Move to the next chain space, but working in the one in round two and you're pulling up your loops to the height of two double crochet. Three. And then finally, move to the next chain space in round three. And you pull up to the height of one double crochet. And then to finish off, yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Okay, so just take your time with that one. And then to secure it, chain one. then chain two and make a double crochet in the same chain space that you finished your puff in. And there is your leaf puff. So we carry on exactly the same as we did down the other side. And once you reach your last uh, leaf puff, you're going to go and double crochet in each stitch around the corner Make sure you make two double crochet in that second corner stitch and then when you get to uh, the next set of chain ones down the chain one spaces down the other side you make more leaf puffs. I'm going to go ahead with that and finish this round and I shall see you when I get back to the beginning. Getting back round to the beginning now and I've gotten to the corner stitches. So we did the same as we do for any corner stitch. Make one double crochet in the first one and then I'm just going to pull that slip stitch tight because this is where we finished our last round and I'm going to make two double crochet in that second corner stitch Okay, and that brings us right back to the beginning and I'm going to slip stitch into our first stitch which is that double crochet chain we started with. So before you go on to the next round 
just lay your blanket out and make sure that those corners all lay flat. If they're not flat, you need to go back and redo because this won't come right. If it's not flat now, it will not come right later. If you are having trouble with it, then what you can do is after you've made your leaf puff, instead of uh, finishing the stitch with a silk, a uh, get my words out, with a chain one and then chain two, do a chain one to finish and then chain three. If that'll help you get the size you need to stop your corners from ruffling up and make sure it all lies flat, then do that. Okay, because it won't affect your stitch count with this next round. We can bring it all right. But you must have this row lying flat before you, you carry on. Okay, so the final round for this week. Chain one. In the same stitch that you started in, the eight slip stitched in two, make a single crochet. And that will be your first stitch of the round. Okay, and for this round all we're going to do is single crochet in every stitch. Okay. When you reach your chains, you're going to make three single crochet in the chain space. Okay, so you've got three single crochet in that first chain space. Then you make a single crochet into the centre of your flower puff where it all came together. You see the sort of little bit there. Single crochet into that. And then make two single crochet into the second part. Okay. So that middle bit is a single crochet in the sort of chain one we brought it together, and then we did chain two afterwards and you've got two single crochet in there and then single crochet in each of the three double crochet afterwards and you repeat that all the way around okay and then when you get to the corners same as before single crochet in every double crochet and when you get to your corner stitch one single crochet in the first stitch then two single crochet in the second and you do that all the way around. So just to recap, in the first chain space it's three single crochet, then one single crochet into the center of that puff flower, your puff leaf, and then two single crochet into the chain space afterwards. Okay, I'm gonna count around with that and I shall see you when I get back to the beginning of the round. Okay, so I've got back round to the beginning. I've done my last two stitches, two single crochet in the same stitch for that second stitch of the corner and I've slip stitched into our beginning single crochet and that is week 15 complete. So now you can go ahead and cut off and weave in your ends and I shall see you again for next week for week 16. Bye for now.